Hey, it's Dragonfeather, and I'm here to be... I'm, I'm here to be... Does, does that make grammatic sense? I don't know. I'm here to do a video on um, death rituals um, and, like, how to deal with that sort of thing. Um, this is kind of a somber topic, and I'm sorry, but before I go into it, I'm going to show you something because I was in ceramics today, which is my class at school, and I finally got my cauldron out. It is finally finished. So I'm going to show you guys, and here it is. And it's really small, um, I guess. there's I've seen bigger cauldrons. I guess this is pretty decent size, actually. Um, and I uh, completely, this is 100% made by me. Um, and I made sure I put extra black gloss on it. Because um, if you guys have seen my runes, uh, my runes kind of came out sketchy on some of them. So I made, do, I made sure I put extra on here to make it look nice. And um, I put my astrological symbol on it, which I'm an Aquarius, and I'm probably going to re-go over it so it's brighter. Um, and then this is the inside, and then I put little handles on it, which is nice, and then this is the bottom. So, um, If you guys have the resources to make one of these, I highly suggest it because you can, while you're working on it, you can infuse it with your own energy. Instead of, you know, like, blessing it and ridding it of, of like, previous energies, you don't have to do that. Um, though you can if you want. You're more than welcome. But anyway, um, with the death rituals, um, a lot of people associate wearing um, black as death, um, and I don't. Um, I prefer to wear red um, for death because to me, red represents life and death, and red is just like that color um, of passion and just emotional, sort of, I guess. Um, the more, like, really, really strong emotions, like lust and love and stuff. Um, so, yeah, um, with death rituals, um, if you guys want to, um, leave a comment asking me, leave a comment below asking me to make one and I'll make one, because, um, it'll take me a lot of preparation, but if you guys want me to do it, I'll do it. Um, and basically having a death ritual... Uh, the way you could do this is, let's just say you lose someone, um, hypothetically, and you they wanted to be buried in an eco-friendly way, or they were part of your coven and they were going to be buried, and there's a ceremony, or if that is already going to happen and you're just looking um, for ideas how to deal with it, and, or something like that. Um, a lot of the things that people do is they have, um, if you've ever seen those things in the olden days where it's a long thing and then there's four people, two at each side, and they pick them up and carry them and they, there's the body on there. Um, that's usually what they're carried on and then placed on a long altar. Um, and you do like crystal blessings and cleansings and prayers and spells to help them get to Summerland without any issues. Um, and one thing that I want is I would honestly love to be cremated and um, have my ashes scattered into the ocean, but that'd be great, but it's not like the best thing I can do. I would, now that I think about it, even though that's what I want, I think what I'm going to do is have myself wrapped in biodegradable cloth and buried under a tree so I can decompose and become nutrients for the tree. Um, which is something that if you guys can, I highly suggest it. Um, there are some funeral sites that do do green services. And what I mean by green services is not being buried in a six foot deep cement sur container thingy um, and to be buried in a coffin and to just be buried in the ground, you know, only like two feet under with dirt and um, wrapped in eco-friendly cloth that will eventually biodegrade, just like you will. Um, but anyway, with the entire ceremony, um, what you can do is you can bring, you can just have the coven, if this person was a part of the coven, um, or if it was just like your Wiccan friend or your pagan friend or this is just how they wanted it done, um, you can ha bring them in and set them on the long altar that will fit their body and then cast the circle. Um, and then you say, you know, you call upon the god and the goddess and, um, any gods of death, like Osiris, um, or Anubis, um, 
or Hades to come into the circle with you or Hecate to come into the circle with you and to ask them to guide this person or your friend into a safe afterlife, into Summerland safely. Um, or wherever you want them to go based on your religion. Um, but really, um, be careful when you guys do this because whenever you do a ritual in death, you always want to keep one foot in the living, one foot in life. So you would have on the altar a white candle representing life, a red candle representing, you know, death and life, and then one a, a black candle representing death, like just all of death, a white candle for all of white, and then that red candle representing the person who died with their life, their death, and all the love and passion and awesomeness they shared. Um, and yeah, it's a very somber topic. Um, but, you know, you can have a very beautiful Wiccan wedding. Wedding? What the fuck am I talking about? You can have a very beautiful Wiccan, um, funeral. And it doesn't have to be sad. It can be very celebratory where even though that, you know, you miss, like, kind of like Mabin or Mabon, you know, you celebrate then, but you still know that you know, the god's gonna die, but you still know that the, this person is dead and you won't be able to talk to them again. Um, but you can be like, they get to, you know, finally meet the god and the goddess. They get to do all of this and stuff like that and just be like, this is such a great time for them. You know, because I'm pretty sure when someone dies, they don't want you to be sad. I mean, there you are gonna be sad for a while, but you don't, they probably don't want you to be sad for a long, long time. Um, like my Uncle Tim who passed away a few years ago. He died of MS, and if you guys don't know what that is, it's multiple sclerosis, which is an autoimmune disease that attacks your nervous system and eventually renders you can't control yourself, and so you eventually die. Um, and it's there's no cure to it, and it was horrible, and I cried my heart out during the funeral um, and the service, but afterwards I was okay, and I am okay, and I still have yet to do a um, a ritual where I call upon a spirit to um, have his help or whatever. But anyway, I hope this helped. Any questions about having a um, death ritual, Wiccan funeral kind of thing, um, let me know. Leave me a personal message, comment below, blah, 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 you know the drill. <laughs> but yeah, until next time, blessed be. And um, on a better note, please... Um, I recommend, if you have access to this, please make your own cauldron, even if you don't think you're very artistic, just give it a shot, because, um, I feel much more connected to this guy, because I made him. Made him. Um, and he looks great. A lot of my pe a lot of my friends were like, I would so buy that if it was in a New Age store, so. Yeah, um, you never know. It might turn out really freaking amazing, and you might be like, wow, I'm proud of myself. Um. Excuse me, but yeah, anyway, until next time, blessed be, and, um, bye.